This budget is for a better Singapore. We will fix our problems in housing and transport. We are transforming our economy so that we can have quality growth, growth that will provide all Singaporeans a better quality of life. And we are taking further steps towards a more inclusive society, starting with our children, helping lower income workers, and providing better lives for our retirees. But our policies will ultimately succeed by building on the strengths of Singaporeans, the skills and mastery in every job, the compassion, the sense of collective responsibility, and the belief in this country. Singaporeans who are in their own ways building a better tomorrow for themselves, their families, and for Singapore. Like Ali Marzuki Abdul Rani, his father passed away when he was 18, he was determined to succeed and to support his younger siblings, got bursary support to see him through NTU, and is now doing well as a project engineer and also giving back to society. He mentors and coaches young students. Or like Madam Yo Hui Im, 58, a former factory operator. She found a job in a cafe. She was not English speaking. She decided to go for English lessons at age 58 in order to play a bigger role in her workplace. She's now a team leader with broader responsibilities and better pay. Or like Alfred Yo, young accountant, hearing and speech impaired, although he keeps telling me, please call me deaf, he tells me. He prefers to be called deaf. He is a tireless source of feedback on public transport and cycling paths, using photos, using emails, using even videos he takes himself. Three Singaporeans, but there are many others like them. They each tell us something about our strengths and about why we will have a better Singapore ahead.